Okay, hello, hello. This is the dog market. Hello, everybody. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Everything good? Everything good? Oh my gosh, I have a dog barking close to my house. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Yeah, but the, the dog is barking really, really hard. Yes, uh, I don't know if you, yeah, if you hear that. Hello, Oswaldo. Good evening. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Nice to have you one more time. Are you ready for today's class? Yes, teacher. I'm Wonderful. ready. Wonderful, right? It's going to be an easy class for everybody, okay? So mm. uh, thank you so much for being here. I know that you want to be in bed, but this is our last day. This is the ultimate class of the week, so... I'm, I want it, right? I want to keep, 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 keep learning here in class. Okay. Thank you so much. It's nice. It's nice to have you one more time. Okay. Thank you. Te oh, Jesus. Thank you so Good much. Night, hello, hello, Hugo. Welcome. How are you? Thanks. Sounds good. Sounds good. Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet, Hugo? Yes, dog. Oh, is it big or small? Is, is um, it big or small? Big. No, oh, okay. it's big. <laughs> That's a big one. That's a big one, right? No? <laughs> it's a wakaterrier. <laughs> oh, the big one. Those are my favorites. Esos aguacateros are my favorite dogs, right? I love them. I love them. Esas cosas no los matan nada más. Those things are like forever. <laughs> yeah. That's why I love it. And also, those are an angry, angry animals, right? Angry animals. Son bien bravos. Yes. Pueden estar, like, sleeping. Y sienten que pasa algo y le agarran el pie a, a los people. Yes. So, yes, that's, that's. Esos son los animales más bravos que he visto, los abogateros. Those things are, yes. Abogateris. Yeah, abogateris. Yeah, those things are, like, very, <laughs> very angry animals. Angry animals, okay? Y son traicioneros porque uno va tranquilo y de repente por detrás, ¿ok? Ya veo. Tengo manada. Atacan en manada, teacher. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, the gun susto, right? Yeah, that's a terrible. Hello, Jenny. Jenny Concepción Urbina. Hello, teacher. Good night. How are you, Jenny? I'm fine. Thank you. What is your favorite food, Jenny? Hi. <laughs> what? 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 What is your favorite food? Favorite food, like like hamburgers, like donuts, like I don't know tortas, Mexican tortas, like. Uh, uh, um, um, I, I, cangre burger. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, teacher. That was good. That was good. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. Same <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> That's good. Ay, ay. That's good. Like I agree, I agree. No, that's sorry. No, Jenny, puede decir, puede decir. I like hamburgers. I like hamburgers. I like hamburgers. Ah, uh, 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 yes. I like hamburgers. Very good. <laughs> that was very good. And also, yes. Oh, oh my god. No, your smile is very contagious. You know what I mean? It's very contagious, your smile. Okay. 
thank you so much people for being here okay it's nice to have you one more time um today is a very hot weather as you may know right um we don't have rain today so i'm missing the rain i'm missing the rain hay una canción rain creo que es creo que es de los it's Guns super rain. rain no it's, it's super mean? rain ah um november rain on the roads oh november oh, rain yes november rain yeah that's november rain uh, yeah it's, it's not bad money right it's not bad money nothing like that <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, voy a tomar la lista de asistencia. Attendance list. Please, when you hear your beautiful name, say please and from here. Ana Cáceres. Present teacher. Thank you, Ana. Welcome. Xiomara Barrera. Pre present teacher. Thank you so much. Ángel Eduardo León. Ángel? No, ok. Eh, Blanca Cerón. No, no Blanca. Ok. Carlos Alexis. No. Carmen Romero. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Thank you so much. Claudia Paredes. I'm here, teacher. Welcome. Nice to have you. Dalia Marisol. I'm here. Perfect. David Cepeda. David Cepeda. No, here. What about Eva Ordóñez? Eva? I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Eva. Welcome. Griselda Estrada. Thank you so much, Griselda. Hugo Orellana. Present teacher. Thank you. Johnny Pineda. Hello, hello, Johnny. No? Okay. Oswaldo Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Nice to have you again. Karina. Thank you. Hello. Present teacher. Thank you, Karina. Good evening. Kathy Guzman. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Kenya Romero. Kenya, Kenya Romero? No? Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Marvin Cordova. Marvin Cordova. Marvin Cordova? No? Okay. What about Melissa Lopez? Thank you. Moises Rodas. I'm here. Perfect. Nice to have you, Moises. Pedro Ramirez. Hello, hello, Pedro. No Pedro today. Okay. Present teacher. Oh, Pedro, right? Yes, present Thank teacher. You, welcome, welcome, welcome. Ricardo, Mr. Flores, welcome. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Rosa Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Good evening. Uh, Rosa Elizabeth Barrientos. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Rosario del Carmen Rivas. I am here, teacher. Wonderful. Good evening. Zaira Carrillo Chavez. No Zaira today? Okay. Present teacher. Oh, Zaira, welcome. Good evening. Nice to have you. you. Stephanie Javier Barrera. Hi, good, good evening. Welcome. Nice to have you, Stephanie. Valeria Gomez. Come here, teacher. Thank you so much. Very good. Yancy Alvarado. I'm here. Thank you so much. And Jenny de la Concepción Urbina. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. 
and welcome everybody to this amazing class, which is called English. <laughs> welcome, nice to have you. Where was I? We're going to work today with this beautiful thing that is present continuous. Este es el tema que la mayoría de los que aprenden inglés lo agarra rapidito, así. Very rapidito, right? So, thank you so much for being here. Y vamos a tratar de trabajar lo más que se pueda con este topic that is present continuous tense. Vamos a trabajar con questions. Yes, no questions. This is principiante. And this is class number 12. Okay. So... Y esto pues es la última clase de la section number four. Y es uh, igual, right? recordarles en la plataforma tienen el material. Y pues eh, para que, que vayan avanzando ahí. Right? Eh, en algún inconveniente, pues con, el, con, el, con la plataforma, siempre acuérdense que hay una persona bien amable ahí para apoyarles eh, en ese tipo de situaciones, ¿verdad? Ok, vamos a empezar with this class. No sé si alguien tiene algún comentario before we begin. Let me know. Let me know. Rosa, Edith Moreno, everything good? Do, sí, do, sí, sí, sí. To yes. do Ben, to do Ben. Yes. Wonderful, very good. Abraham Rodos, tell me. Eh, quería preguntar y saber si, bueno, ponerme al tanto, si en qué elección tendríamos que ir... Eh, al día o en cuál lección sería eh, Abraham, la section 4 la sección 4 y hay un midterm ahí yes? ah, bueno mm -hmm. perfect, perfect. perfect. Oh. <laughs> that's very good that's very good right yes that's very good uh -huh. mire el bio Naruto right? el bio Naruto es un mic that's why ok so let's continue vamos a ver un video ok let's listen and watch. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes, okay? I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes. They're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing 
shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that'll be they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right hand side and and but are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat, but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends, and co-workers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. Uh, my wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Thank you. So that was the instruction about this person. Before I show you more examples, la clave está aquí en dos formas, right? El primero es el verb to be. ¿Se acuerdan del verb to be? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Karina, ¿se acuerdan del verb to be? Yes, prof. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. yes, Karina, teacher. tell me, ¿cuál es el verb to be? Um... <laughs> exactly. Um, are. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. So, Karina, uh, to be. Oh my gosh, give me a mess. Espera, espera, me está pasando acá. El verbo to be tenemos. Um, yes. Are. Y no, esto tenemos is, right? That is the verbo to be. Okay. Entonces, el present continuous utiliza el verbo to be. Entonces, tiene que tenerlo ahí. Ciento, hundred percent. Yes. Y luego la clave está en los verbs. Okay. Now, um, the difficult part is that one first. Okay. Ahora, ¿para cuándo lo utilizamos el present continuous? Okay. So, it's very easy, right? Actions. Solo vamos a verlo ahorita así, right? Mira, Mirado, se me activa el micrófono. At the moment. Okay. Actions this is the way this is the way we are going to use it. Okay. Actions at the moment. Ahorita lo vamos a ver así, right? Well, podemos darle varios usos, but okay, vamos a enfocarnos ahorita. Okay. Entonces, actions at the moment. Cuando me refiero a actions at the moment, es todo lo que usted hace ahorita. Yes? Right? Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, Melissa, deme un ejemplo, un verbo de lo que está haciendo ahorita usted. I'm listening my English class. Okay, so listening. Okay, very good. Hugo? Uh, learning. Okay, learning is, uh, English. Very good. ¿Qué más? Anybody else? ¿Alguien más? ¿Otro ejemplo? ¿Qué están haciendo? I am drinking my tea okay so drinking right yes mm -hmm. yes right. what else sleeping <laughs> starting very good starting very good ¿Qué más? reading again reading reading uh -huh. writing okay. Uh -huh. Mara, ¿qué está haciendo usted, Mara? Teacher, how do you say peinando? Oh, peinando is is come. Coming. Writing. Oh, writing, very good. Writing. 
¿Qué más? I am sentado. Eighteen. Okay. Cenando, comiendo tichi. Okay, so having dinner. I'm right now in pupusaria. Okay. <laughs> so waiting, right? Driving. I'm waiting for pupusaria, right? Okay. Driving. ¿Qué más? Driving. Excuse me. Analyzing the class. Excuse me. Analyzing the class. Analyzing. Mm -hmm. Okay, analyzing. Very good. Okay. Driving. Very good. Driving. Voy a agregar aquí watching, right? Porque están viendo la pantalla. Mm -hmm. Watching a este señor, right? Aquí no más. Eh, yeah, so, mire, todas estas cosas. Y claro, hemos dejado algunas aquí, right? Hemos dejado algunas, pues que todavía están haciendo. Yes. Eh, pero entonces la clave está aquí, miren. Todos estos son verbs. Ustedes le agregaron ing, right? Listening, mm -hmm. learning, drinking, studying, reading. Alguien dijo combing, right? Okay. I eat in pupusa. Writing, sitting, having dinner, o... Oh, Aunque digo yo, partner, right? Eating. Eating, very good. Waiting. Okay, here we have waiting. Uh, analyzing. Driving. And watching. Yes? Right? Entonces, todo esto usted lo está haciendo at the moment. Por eso es el present continuous at the moment. Y utilizamos el verb to be para hacer, para indicar eso. Okay? Entonces vengo yo y digo, ok, bueno, la pregunta que siempre se le hace, right? What, sorry, what are you doing? What are you doing? Yes. What are you doing? Ok. ¿Sí? What are you doing? Bien, usted, ¿se acuerda que le decía? Mire, aquí está el verb to be, mire, aquí está esa cosita, right? What are you doing? Yes, y usted dice, um, listening. I'm dancing. Oh, okay, listening to music. To music. Oiga, me dijo, uh, I'm dancing, right? Yes. Dancing, very good. Okay. Ahora, yo puedo decirle, pues, por ejemplo, how, what are you doing? Pero también puedo decir, Hey, ¿qué está haciendo Hugo? Okay. What okay, is he doing? Yes. Yo puedo decir también, what sorry. What is espérame, espérame, espérame. What is she doing? Yo puedo decir also, what is the dog doing? Comiéndose la libre carne, right? That's, that's, that's <laughs> it. Yeah. The lunch for today. Okay, so this is the way we can ask about ¿Qué hace alguien? ¿Qué hago yo? ¿Qué haces like the dog? Yes. Entonces, la clave está conocer esa acción que está haciendo somebody at the moment. Yes. Right. Entonces, uh, por ejemplo, ahorita tenemos todos estos que están haciendo ustedes, right? like listening, learning, I don't know, watching, todos se lo están haciendo aquí, ¿ok? Pueden estar haciendo más, por ejemplo, talking, eh, por ejemplo, I don't know, um, sí. yes. What is the dog doing? Uh -huh. I don't understand. What, what is the dog doing, right? If you have a dog, mm -hmm. yes. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You got it? Yes, like a pet. Mm -hmm. yes. So you can say, oh, what, what's the dog doing? Porque está rascando, mm -hmm. está haciendo un gran hoyo ahí, right? What was the dog doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Is there like yeah. a robo there? Uh, probably, yes. Okay, probably, yes. Okay. So, yeah. and again, 
this is the way this is the way we use it. So uh, again, la clave está aquí con los verbs y no se olvide jamás ever like como remember right esta cosa que es el verb to be. Yes, nunca se olvide del verb to be porque aquí va. Mire, I am, he is, she is drinking water. She is drinking water. So this is the way we use this one. Okay. So don't forget that little thing that is called verb to be. Okay. Rosario. Buenas noches. ¿Cuál regla utilizó para darle doble T a sitting? Oh, thank you so much. Very good. Hay unos verbs, hay unos verbs que se les duplica la letter T. Ok. Esto por el tipo de entonación que tienen. Ok. Por ejemplo, tenemos uno que es click. Yes. Right. Tenemos otro que es stop. Quiero ver otro que es run. What else? Did, stop, run. I think the other one is swim. I guess. Oh, let me see what else. Play. Excuse me? Play. Like wait, like waiting. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm sorry. That one no. That one no. Uh, but sorry, it's... No se equivocado en escribirla. Excuse me? What? Ah, yes, stop. No, yes, stop. It's letter T. Oh my gosh, I did a mistake. Thank you so much. Very good. Stop here. Okay. Very good, very good. Yes, stop. Entonces, esto se les duplica lo que dijo su compañero, right? Yes, se les duplica. Entonces, um, ¿qué le recomiendo yo? My recommendation is, pues, tengo que aprenderse estos. ¿no? Y no son, no son el montón. A la mayoría siempre se le agrega ING, así como los que estuvieron diciendo ustedes. Entonces, a los que se les duplica la, la última consonante, pues son, son estos. Y, y hay otros, ¿vale? pero hay una lista en Google. ¿Ok? Um, que son a veces excepciones. Entonces, oh, oh my gosh, las pasas. Entonces, uh, my recommendation again. Eh, pues vamos a ocupar siempre los que más ocupamos, es los que más ocupamos de más, y a eso pues uh, les agregamos. Acuérdense que estas reglas solo son cuando llevamos ING, a veces también cuando están en past tense, tenemos algunos de estos, pero siempre hay excepciones. Ok. Uh, Teacher, espérenme un segundo. Es decir que estos son una lista de verbos que llevan W, letra, y no es como que una regla. Um, sí es como una regla porque solo tiene una, un sonido, ¿vale? Right? Like, fit, una sílaba. Stop, eh, run, uh, swim. Okay. Pero es como, ¿cómo les digo? Um, no son bastantes, como no son bastantes verbs, entonces... Uh, no excepción. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so we have like some exceptions. Um, por así decirlo, right? Entonces, um, no son el montón. Entonces, como a la mayoría solo le agregamos ING, ING, entonces la mayoría. Hay, hay un cuadrito de, de rules, ya se lo voy a mostrar, right? So you can have an idea. Pero again, como les digo, ahorita en, en lo que lo vamos a ver el contenido, right? Yeah. Y necesito que sea como bastante simple para no indagar mucho en eso porque pues, pues se me van a asustar, you know, really. And I don't want, I don't want to be like, eh, no, hombre, todo eso. No, o sea, y yes, hay un montón de rules, I know. Y yes, I know. Pero la idea es no asustar lo que usted diga, ah, oh, mira, todo eso tengo que aprender. No, it's like little by little, you know what I mean? Yes, little by little. Okay. El que más vamos a ocupar en in this, bueno, en esta apartado que tenemos en la sección number four es el verbo wearing y es este que está aquí wearing yes por qué wearing Karina por qué wearing porque está en tiempo presente very good y cuál es el vocabulary que tenemos en la en la sección four Karina cuál es el vocabulary 
Como, perdón. El vocabulary que tenemos en la section 4. El vocabulary. Lo presente continuo. El present continuous, right? Y te, estamos hablando acerca del de, vocabulario y es acerca de close. Y es close. Si usted se fija, mire aquí. Este es el vocabulario, mire. Black shoes, white shirt, yellow dress. ¿Ok? Entonces, el que va relacionado con el vocabulario is wearing. ¿Ok? Por eso le preguntan, what are you wearing? What is he wearing? What is She wearing. Yes. Y luego, pues, utilizamos el vocabulary que tenemos en la, en la section to communicate that. ¿Ok? Entonces, si usted se fija, mira que tenemos again. Right? <laughs> no sé por qué. Eh, I am not wearing black shoes. I am not wearing white shirt. I'm not wearing a yellow dress. ¿Ok? So, again, como le digo, um, this is a process of learning. So, ¿Qué quiere decir? Que pues el inglés se le va a dar pues, pues, pues cucharitas, ¿no? pequeñas. Right? Porque, <risa> sí, créame. O sea, I mean, yo sé que suena muy y todo, pues, pues todo de un solo, pero uno, el time, solo tengo one hour. Second, pues no quiero asustarlo. Right? I don't want to scare you because, because it's a lot. Okay? Y tercero, acuérdese que it's, it's a process. It's a process. No es que... Okay. Imagínense, yo le enseño todo esto ahorita, pues pero al siguiente día lo olvido todo, right? So, the idea is to teach you something little, right? Y, y que entienda lo, lo más posible, right? Y luego en el camino vamos agregando more and more uh, details, porque ahorita solo estamos viendo con el, lo que viste al, al momento, right? Miren, right? Si usted ve la picture, mira, aquí tenemos una sí, picture. Sí, están dando. No, yo, no dale, ya casi te digo. And I, and I say, what is she wearing or what are you wearing okay we were working in this section with clothes with clothes okay entonces por eso estamos hablando with the word with the verb wearing ¿Qué significa wearing Karina? Excuse me Okay está usando usando o vistiendo right wearing wear es vestir right Clothes. Entonces, el verbo wear siempre va a ir relacionado with clothes, ya sea glasses, shoes, I don't know, uh, whatever the things that goes with you, okay? And, oh my gosh, look at this one. That was fantastic. That's for free. That's for free, right? Here we have the question, okay? Esta casi nunca lo hacemos. I, am I wearing black shoes? No. Okay, so, is he wearing black shoes? Eh, are you wearing, uh, I don't know, yellow dress? Y luego las respuestas, yes, I am. No. Uh, he, he is in or no, he's not. Por eso es la importancia del verb to be. Si usted se fija, como tenemos la respuesta corta, vamos a contestar con el verb to be, right, Melissa? Yes. So, we're going to get the verb to be. Aquí vamos a ocupar el verb to be cuando sea yes, he is, or no, 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 they aren't. Ok. Uh, cuando nos hagan una, una cuestión. Ok. Uh, vamos a ver un poquito acá. Espérame, espérame, espérame. Ok, yes, eso. Eso. Vamos a hacer este exercise que está acá. Vamos a empezar with Melissa López. Thank you. Um, léame las instructions, Melissa, y luego la number one, and then la number two. Thank you. Ok, look at the picture one. Complete the sentence with is. Isn't, are, or aren't. And number one, Pam and Bob are wearing boots. Good. Carry on, please, Melissa. Carry on. And Pam is wearing a scarf. Very good. Yes, very good. We will continue. Number three. Um. Bob uh, it's wearing scarf. A scarf, very good. Thank you, Xiomara. Number four, Xiomara. Mm 
Pan a bon ar. Pero solo un. Yes, very good, very good. Yes. Va bien, continúe. Thank you. No. Wearing. Wearing jeans. Very good. Very good. Yes. Wonderful, Simara. Um, Rosa Moreno, thank you. Number five. Sería. Ay, no sé cómo. Arno. No, no, tenemos day. Day, ah, oh, ok. Ah, no sé. <laughs> Don't worry, todas son afirmativas. Entonces necesito que me agregue, ya sea este, a. Um... Oh, sería R. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Sí, no, hombre, sí sabe, right? Very good, yes. You know the answer. Sí, arriesguese, right? All right, very good. Great job. Pedro, number six, Pedro. Bo is wearing a sneaker. Very good, thank you so much. Griselda. Number seven. Griselda, number seven. Valeria, number seven. Valeria, el... Is... Okay, okay. leerme la, la sentence, please. Thank you. She is wearing sweater. A sweater. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Sweater. Sí, es suéter, ¿verdad? No. Sweater. Repeat, Valeria. Sweater. Sweater. Yes, very good. Okay. Sweater, very good. And Sarai. Oh, my gosh. Saira, I'm sorry. Saira Abigail. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Pam um, Bob is wearing cap. Oh, okay. Tenemos Zaira, tenemos singular o plural? Mm, plural. Plural. Okay. So, what is the verb to be that is plural, Zaira? Are. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Have. Tenemos are, right? Porque tenemos Pam and Bob. Okay. Ahora, mire la picture aquí, right? Si usted se fija. Pues es la description of this picture. Mire, she is Pan and he is Bob. Right? So, mire, Pam is wearing a scarf. Here we have the scarf. Bob is wearing a scarf. <gasps> that is correct? Yes or no? No, teacher. Uh -huh. yes. No. Mm -hmm. There are ne negatives and affirmative. Oh. Okay, entonces, ¿cómo quedaría la number three? Isn't wearing a scarf. Exactly, very good. So, tenemos isn't. Isn't, very good. Thank you so much. Great job. Isn't. Now, this is negative because if usted ve la imagen, pues, it's not true, right? So, Bob is isn't. Yes. Repita, isn't. Es que yo pensaba que era isn't, pero no sé si le escucho mal por... Por cómo se transporta el sonido de la voz. Oh, Ethan. Ethan. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. So, Bob isn't wearing. Okay. So, because, because, mire, pues verdaderamente, pues we, we are watching it, right? This is, this is Bob. Okay. Abraham Rodas, thank you. What is uh, wearing a scarf? Oh, a scarf. Mire, aquí, Pam, this is a scarf. Okay. Do you see this one? Yes. Aquí, aquí. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's something that that I mean, some people wear, like here around this area on the neck. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. and uh, number five, no, sería negativo. Oh, very good, very good. So, ¿cómo quedaría el number five, Karina? Thank you. They aren't wearing shirts. Exactly, they aren't. Exactly, so they aren't. Okay, aren't. Very good. Yeah, they aren't wearing shirts. 
Wonderful. Yes. Uh, then we have number six. Bob is wearing his sneakers. No, I think these are sneakers, I guess. It's boots. Or, or, or um, no, these are boots. These ones, I guess. But this looks like a sneakers, I guess. Well, for me, that's the way I see it, the sneakers. And he is wearing a sweater. Okay, he is wearing a sweater. Is that correct? Yes? No. I don't know. No, teacher. No, it's it is it's no wearing a is... A sweater. sweater. Very good. Okay, so he is not wearing a sweater. Very good. Okay. T shirt. The last one. Is that the last one? T shirt. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, the word <gasps> sneaker. Uh -huh. Se usa. Um, Solo para los zapatos, o sea, deportivos, o hay otra traducción, o hay otro para esa palabra, sneakers. No, bueno, pues lo que hacen a veces es mencionan la marca, a veces los estilos, that's what they do. Okay. Por ejemplo, esta cosa de los Jordan, mencionan a veces Jordan. Yes. Uh, por lo general. A, a la mayoría pues se le llama sneakers más que todos los que están para deporte o para andar cómodos esos son sneakers a veces la gente menciona la marca la brand o, o el modelo de, de, del shoe right that's the way they do it thank you teacher yes a todos les llamo sneakers because it's easy for me <laughs> <laughs> That's easier for me. Okay. Well, number eight. Number eight. Come on, Leona. Number eight. Affirmative or negative? Negative. Orange. Orange. Right. Orange. Right. 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 Because we are saying that. Adding. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Right. Very good. So, yes. So we can say Bob and Bob are wearing boots. Okay. Ah, por eso me estaba diciendo your partner, right? Que no son sneakers. Serían eh, boots. Very good. Entonces, that is correct. Now it makes sense. Okay. Entonces, aquí sería Ethan. Very good. Creo que fue Abraham o Hugo que me dijo, right? Ethan wearing sneakers. Yes. Very good. That is correct. That is correct. Frank is wearing a scarf. Bob isn't wearing a scarf. Five are wearing jeans. Yes, I can see that. They are wearing shorts. Uh, but isn't wearing sneakers. He's not wearing a sweater. And Bob is wearing shorts. The idea again is that we can identify based on the context what are they wearing. Yes, right? So, y utilizamos el present continuos para comunicar lo que viste la gente. Entonces, para comunicar lo que viste a alguien, pues tenemos que verlo, right? Yes, right. Entonces, por eso estamos incluyendo en this section el present continuous para indicar lo que vemos at the moment. At the moment, okay? Let me check something that's here. Okay. Quiero ver si tiene efecto. Thank you. Now we have two pictures. We have picture number one and picture number two. Yes. Okay. Ben has pictures. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we have, okay. Look at the pictures. What and how are they different? Tenemos. Ejemplo. In picture two, this is picture two, Bob is wearing a tie. This mm -hmm. is a tie. In picture one, he isn't wearing a tie. So this is picture one, and this is picture two. So this is the way we talk about these two pictures. Yes? Again, we are practicing the vocabulary, which is about clothes. Yes? Entonces, por eso les sugería, right, al principio de la semana, hey, díganle a su hijo o a su hija, right, oh, yes, you are wearing a shirt, you are wearing jeans, you are wearing, okay, so you can practice the clothes. 
because we are going to be here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para que me escriban en la picture, basado en la picture. Three examples. Three examples, así como este que está acá. Yes. En la picture two hay tiene glaciers la muchacha. Exactly, exactly. Entonces eso me va a decir in English, right? In English, okay. Very good. Eso me va a decir en okay. inglés, right? Igual. Igual, usted te puede cambiar también, por ejemplo, puede decir en picture one. Okay. ¿Cómo se llama la señorita? Sí, Carmen, ¿cómo se llama la señorita? This girl. Uh, What's her name? I don't Pam. know. Pam. Pam. Very good. Pam. Pam. That's her name. Pam. Yes. Pam. That's her name. Okay. Entonces le voy a dar cinco minutos para que me escriban in your notebook. Eh, tres difference, right? Tres difference. Yes. Tamara, do you understand? ¿Entiende lo que va a hacer, Simona? Yes. ¿O no? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect. Cinco minutos contando desde ahorita hasta right now. Ok. Solo three examples. Ok, solo three examples como esto, right? Picture two. Yes. Okay, si alguien no entiende lo que estamos haciendo, me avisa anytime. Okay, so I can explain to you. Puedo explicar, right? Ahorita estamos, bueno, les comento que les estoy dando cinco minutos, solo les quedan dos, right? Donde me van a escribir three examples, así como este que está acá, here, right? And la diferencia entre picture one and picture number two. Okay, so... Um,
Can I just say in picture two? <laughs> No gritation, no gritation. Okay. Okay, so we'll finish with the time, okay? Se nos acabó el time, okay? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. So you're ready. Uh, Oswaldo, give me one example, please. Thank you. Pan is wearing a um, picture two, a gloves. Okay, tenemos a gloves or gloves? Gloves. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, Pan is wearing a uh, zoom glasses. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Recuerde que está comparando las dos. Okay, ahora, si solo me dice de una picture, ahí no está comparando. You know what I mean? Yes? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahí no me está dando la diferencia, right? Uh, por ejemplo, si usted se fija en el example, dice. In picture two, que es esta, Bob is wearing uh, a tie. Yes. Okay. Pero, yes. Says, right, in picture one, he isn't. This is picture one, isn't wearing a tie. Entonces, en uno le queda negative y en la otra positive. Yes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Very good. Uh, let me see. Do we have... Let me see. Teacher, yo me, me salí un rato porque... Fue la energía y se me fue el inter. Entonces, por eso no había entendido. Ah, ok, ok. Eh, no sé si tiene preguntas acerca de esto que estamos haciendo acá. Pues, ah, ya le entendí. Oh, ok, perfect, perfect, no problem. Let me okay. see. Carmen Romero. Carmen, tell me your example, Carmen, please. Thank you. va a morir en dos segundos, no tengo oh carga. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, okay? Thank you so much. Rosa. Hello, Rosa. Good evening. Hi, hi. Hello, hello. Hello, Rosa. Okay, what about Griselda? Hello, Griselda. Griselda, no, okay. Gabriela, what is Gabriela? Here, Gabriela. Gabriela, hello, hello. Oh, okay. sí, pero lo voy a intentar solo por audio porque no puede ver. Uh, en Picture 2, Bob is a wedding cap. En Picture. Eh, um, and uh, uh, no. No. no, that's okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Igual, eh, algunos me estaban mandando en el chat o WhatsApp eh, sus examples, right? Eh, you no. Know? <laughs> acuérdense, acuérdense que tenemos plurals y tenemos singulars. Entonces, cuando tenemos los plurals, le ponemos el a, por ejemplo, a gloves o a cap, right? Entonces, tenga cuidado con los plurals y los singulars. Acuérdense que el, el arico, el a o an, va siempre con singular. Entonces, cuando es plural, no lleva nada de eso, que okay? Solo decimos el plural, like gloves, right? Yes. En um, igual, siempre tiene, por ejemplo, el exercise es, the difference. What is the yeah, difference? Yeah. Siempre va a decir, in picture two, you want to see that Pam is wearing, I don't know, in picture one, and Pam is not or isn't wearing, and then what you say, the object. Que mencionó en el first example. Okay? So that's, that's the way. Karina, let me an example, please. Thank you. Um, in picture two, Pam is, isn't wearing a coat. In picture one, Pam is wearing a boot. 
Very good, very good. Solo ahí a las dos oraciones me le voy a quitar esta, esta, this word, ¿ok? El, uh... Exacto, porque es plural, ¿ok? Ok, porque es, porque gloves, gloves is plural, ¿ok? Very good, Karina, very good. Entonces, así como hizo ese example, Karina, pues así va a ser los dos other examples. Yes. Just three. So, so you can practice. And again, ahorita, again, so we're just working with wearing, okay? Wearing, and also we are including gloves. You know what I mean? Gloves, which is the vocabulary that we have in this lesson, okay? Yes. Um, any question about this? Any question about this? No questions. No questions, right? Yes. Um, let me check. Let me check. Give me a minute. Because it was in America. <laughs> Okay. okay, now let's let's listen. Let's listen and watch. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form yes or no questions in the present continuous tense. Let's get started by looking at the examples of your screen. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is she wearing boots? Yes, she is. No, she's not. Are they wearing glasses? Yes, they are. No, they're not. When forming yes or no questions in the present continuous tense, you need to follow this formula. Verb to be plus the subject plus uh, the verb plus ing plus some kind of complement. So let's try to make sense of this. R you the verb is wear and we add ing to that that will be wearing a suit and of course we put a question mark there let's give another example the verb to be is 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 she wearing boots and of course question mark at the end so let's try to make questions now I will give you the subject the verb plus some kind of compliment and you need to write the questions for example I'm gonna give you mention the subject will be you and the verb eat and in this case I'm gonna say dinner is the compliment so what I want you to do with that is to form a question. So let's take the the, the the verb to be is the one that we need to use. So for the pronoun you, you're going to say are. The pronoun is you or the subject. The verb is eat. We need to add ing to that to form it into a progressive form. Are you eating dinner? It's the complement. And of course, add the question mark there. So I'm going to give you more, and you should uh, make these questions as I explain. After you have finished, go ahead and share your work in our discussion forums. So, in addition, as you may see in the video, right, we have questions with the verb to be and with the present continuous. Again, we are using wherein in this part of this present continuous to describe what is somebody wearing. Okay, so is he wearing a dress? Is I'm sorry, is he wearing a dress? <laughs> is he wearing sneakers? 
Is he wearing a skirt? Is he wearing shorts? Okay. Don't forget that tiny thing that is called a verb to be. People, good night. Thank you so much. Enjoy your weekend. Don't forget to practice your English and we will see you next class. Griselda and everybody on Monday. Continuamos con las clases. Thank you. Bye-bye. El ING es endo o ando, pero con esas primeras, esos verbos que mencionó en un principio, eh, se, son elegidos, son contados, no sé. Porque si sí, al stop le agregó la P todavía, oh, eh, P. Sí. Son como, ah. como excepciones, Ricardo, como excepciones. Entonces no son a lot, son, son, son pocos, ¿ok? ¿Y son bastantes o hay que averiguarse o solamente eso que usted dio ahí? No, hay varios, hay como unos, no sé, depende, hay como una listita como de unos 10 o 15, right? Pero los que más ocupamos son esos que les mostré en pantalla, like stop, stream, run, ¿ok? Ok, ok, gracias. Perfect, have a nice weekend, bye bye.